Hey everybody, welcome back to Wildman Creations. If this is your first time joining me, my name is Jay. And tonight I want to kind of switch gears a little bit. I'm not going to do a cooking video. But I did want to go over some of the things that... Um, you Just to give you some thoughts. Um, I've got a bunch of my camping stuff here and some things that we've made. And um, just for those times if you... Um, your electricity goes out or, you know, whatever. And you can certainly use some of this stuff for camping. And it's kind of like three areas I want to cover. Um, lighting, heating, and cooking. And the cooking one's probably probably going to be the shortest one. I may have to do this in three different videos. I might be able to do it in two, but I think one video is going to be too long. But first thing I wanted to talk about is um, coffee or boiling water. Um, I've got a French press here that I've used several times. Um, I've taken it camp and I actually use it here at the house a lot of times. It's one of the Stanley, uh, Stanley ones. I've got a like a two cup espresso maker that's pretty cool. I've got a little one cup espresso maker. It's pretty cool. Let's put the heat together. Actually, I probably should have already had this out. Put your water in. Then you put your strainer in. You put your espresso in there. Put the screen on top. it together your little cup fits underneath of course put it on flame or whatever over your fire and it works out it's pretty cool um, an old-fashioned percolator a lot of people don't know how to use one of these um, you've got it's got markings on it for your cups put however much water and how many uh, teaspoons of coffee you want in there and the trick is once it starts percolating and it changes a little bit of color you don't want to leave it on long or you'll it'll boil over so that's your your tip I wouldn't let it go more than about a minute when after it starts turning color um, last but not least this is a Pathfinder package. I've got a coffee filter here that actually hooks onto your cup. Put your coffee grounds in and you can pour hot water over it. And it fits in the snugly in the lid there. Um, this is like my my cook set that I take with me when I go camping. So I keep a knife wrapped with paracord and some other stuff. I keep a pair of tongs. I've got a spoon and a spork. Oh, I keep a uh, scotch Brite pad in here too, so I can wipe it out and I keep a bandana in there to kind of dry it out if I need to. I have an adapter that fits my stove, which I'll show you here in a minute, um, so you can use the big propane. Right now I've got a little butane in, but I got one of these that you can use on the, the small uh, 16 ounce propane tanks. Well, you know, they come right out. The Stanley Adventure Set cook set, I think you get them at Walmart for like 15 bucks. Um, I bought a nesting cup that that sits in. And inside of this, 
But when you get it, it comes with these two little itty bitty cups. They ain't worth a dime. So I just, I haven't thrown them away, but I don't use them. Uh, the other thing I did is I took the little plastic tab off the handle and then I put a key ring on there because that's the first thing it melts when you get it in the fire. So inside here, I keep a striker, coffee, instant coffee, my stove, which I'll show you in a second, a lighter, some oatmeal, and my thing of butane, and it, you put it in there upside down, so I'm not going to light it up, I'm just going to show you how small this thing is. One of my kids got this for me for Christmas several years ago. I love this thing. And I think they're about $17, something like that. But anyway, that screws onto your your butane, and it puts out quite a quite a bit of heat. And then you, know, you fill up your water, or whatever, and then that just sits on top of that. I'm not going to start all this stuff up because I don't want this to run long, and I got too much I want to talk about and too much stuff to put up when I get done. Um, the same thing. This I actually found at the thrift store, and it fit right perfect with my pot. And this set comes with, I did the same thing with the handle, took that tab off, but this set comes with they call them plates, if you want to call them that. But they stack together. It comes with a spatula and a ladle, spoon. I keep a Scotch Brite pad down in here to clean that, keep that clean. And it comes with two bowls. And then my frying pan comes with a cutting board. I keep a scotch bright in there and an old piece of leather for a, uh, a handle grab. A trivet set it on. A couple of sporks. A spatula with a handle you can attach. And it also comes with two plates. And then the handle just flips back out of the way. And it's got a real heavy bottom on it. I really like this pan. It, it cooks up everything well. Um, the other thing I keep in my this front pouch is I keep more coffee. Uh, let's see, some hot chocolate, another little, it's a spork and then the handle pulls out, it's got a knife in it. Uh, let's see, oh I've got a small package of onion soup mix. I actually found some Spam Singles. I know everybody's going to, eh, you eat that stuff? In a pinch. I've had to do it in a pinch a couple of times. But anyway, all that stuff been in there. And yes, I'm going to have fun putting it back. Uh, oh. 
I've got another bigger stove here. That's pretty cool. It's got a lot bigger platform on it. You know, you set bigger stuff on it, and the you actually hook your butane or your propane up out here. The legs fold down. Then you hook your propane up or your butane. This is pretty cool. It works really well too. And yes, I'm gonna have fun putting all this back. I think that is it. Again, guys, thank you very much for spending your time with me. I really do appreciate it. If you would hit that subscribe and like button, and if you want to continue to see some of my videos, hit the notification bell. And again, I, I really appreciate you guys spending your time with me. It means a lot to me, and um, it helps the channel grow if you would do a couple of those things. So y'all have a good weekend, and we'll talk to you later.